up tonight, then it was a good comedy show. If you don't, it was a drama. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so just that's just keep that in mind as you leave. You're either gonna be saying, that was that, that was so funny. I want to come to or say that was a great drama. So you gotta think about the drama that. Now, if you know me, if we have been having these cafe recess, and I've been sharing some stories of me, okay? And some of these stories are personal. They're about me when I was young. So they, they leave me open to criticism. They leave me open to, to people's ideas. Well, I want to share with you something that happened to me not so long ago. I was, you know, it was that year, so I wasn't too I'm still young, but it was last year. Uh, October time came around. I had a phone call. Uh, this church that were here where I belong to, they were putting together a, it was called FamFest. Okay? It was a uh, Halloween alternative. You know, it was uh, um, rather than going out and, and knocking on doors getting candy, they had like the, the trunk or tree and all that kind of stuff. And they called because they said, we have a, a talent show we're putting together. And, uh, and we'd like you to be a part. You want to do something funny? And, I, and you know, in deep, first of all, my first thought was, oh, no, that's okay. That's fine because I know I'm going to be competing against kids and dancing and singing, all kinds of stuff. Uh, then he said, there's $100 for first prize. Okay, yeah, I'll do it. That, I, I'll definitely do that. So um, it, what happens is when I try, when I'm trying to create things, I, up in my mind, I have what I call my, my, my executive board, okay? It's in my brain. They're all up there. They're all coming up with ideas. They're helping me out. It's, it's like five of them that sit on this board, okay? And the the... On there, it was, I thought about, okay, I'll do it. So it was, a, it was like a Friday, okay? And on that Friday, it just seemed that, that of the five, it was like Friday, four of them were on their way to go golfing. And it was the one guy up in the corporate board of my head that is, he's only there because he's related to the owner. No one really wants him there. And he gave, he gave some ideas and he said, why don't you do a box and put some stuff in the box and call it your box o talent? And, and of course, the rest of the board, they were gonna go golfing, they didn't care. They're like, yeah, go ahead. And so they went with this idea. And so I, I get a box and the joke was, I, I, I put card tricks in there, balloon animals, and a little, a little hat with a, with a bunny that I was gonna pull out. The joke was I didn't have any talents, okay? That was a joke, all right? So I bought, and then I was gonna end my little thing with something I called Ricky the Mute Sock Puppet. And what I was gonna do is I was gonna grab a sock and just put it on my hand and just, he was a mute sock puppet, he didn't talk. And I was gonna do this little bit like, say hi to everybody, and, uh, and, and hopefully laughs came, just like they're not coming right now, so we can get it out. <laughs> so, so I did the bit, I did the, the balloon, I, okay, mind you, I don't know how to do balloon animals. So I pump up the thing and I look, a snake, and hey, everybody. And I grab another one and I, and I, and I, and I, and I grab it. So, so I, I, crumbled it, I crumbled it up. I said, look, it's the, the swine flu. Oh, he's so funny. Okay? I did a really bad car trick and everything. Well, what happened then, a, a gentle breeze came through and knocked over my box. And apparently, Ricky, the mute sock puppet, he saw where things were going because he ended up coming to the food court. He just left. He just went away. He's eating tacos out there while I'm waiting, getting ready to do the end bit. He's just like, this thing's going bad for me. I ain't going to be doing that out there. He's just eating nachos and they had the funnel cake. So because I went looking for my sock puppet, he was in the box. Okay, he, went, he ran away. So I did this really bad joke at the end that didn't go well. And I was like, this is horrible, I'm done. I was the last person up. And, and then, of course, the guy that was putting it together comes up, well, let's say him, everybody give him a hand, yeah. Now let's go with the, the trunk or treat. So all the adults took off. And I was like, thank God, this was horrible. I was like, I'm never doing these things again. But that's not the end of it, you see, because as the adults walked away, say, hey, he was okay, yeah. I like the dancing Boba Fett, he's better. And they were walking away. Um, the kids apparently didn't get the joke. The little kids, because as, as all the adults were out voting for the for the trunk or treat, all the kids were right in front in one big line waiting for balloon animals. <laughs> I don't know how to make balloon animals. <laughs> like, we want a monkey. We want a balloon. We can help with this. Okay, so I'm like kids. I, I don't know how to make balloon. Yes, you do. <laughs> one, one little kid went like this. Uh, yeah, he's up. I want a sword. I, I try to do like, 
kids, look over there. So I can run away. They go, nah, -uh, we're not going to look away. Because you're going to run away. We want balloon animals. Kids were crying for people. I did not know how to make balloon animals. So, and then I go back in my box, and apparently the only balloon animals, the balloons that were left, went with Ricky the sock puppet to go eat at the food court. Because I had five balloons left. I got them. I, I just... I made five snakes and I said, here, get them. I threw them out to the kids and they were happy. So suffice to say, no more talent shows for Mr. Adrian Savannah. <laughs>